people, what's up? So apparently last night, Russell Wilson became the NFL's highest paid player and obviously at the quarterback position. And my take about it, he deserves it. I mean, if Matthew Stafford can get all this coin, uh, Matt Ryan can, uh, Kirk Cousins, he definitely deserves it. Russell plays with a lot less overall talent. Let's just be realistic. He doesn't have what I call high-tier receivers. And think about it. it. took Max Unger, his great center from him, Beast Mode, is gone. You know, his Legion of Boom is gone. So he's basically, he, he's won games. You know, he got little credit for what he did, but he came through for them. People forget he was the offensive force in that uh, NFC Championship game against the 49ers. He had clutch, he had clutch passes. He's, he's been clutch. So it's not like he's just some side dish quarterback. The guy can flat out play now. He's a top five or six quarterback in the league right now. And Russell, he's been the truth. He is the face of the team, but it's just that the Legion of Boom was one of the best defenses ever. But that's been far removed, and they started to crumble and fold it over time. I was going to mention that Super Bowl against New England. It wasn't his fault. That was a bad call from the sidelines. That kind of particular pass, you have to hit that on the hip. And it really changed fortunes because if you think about it, he wins that Super Bowl. Pardon me. He has two rings. He would have had two rings at that time, which there would be no question about how much he should get paid. He had won at a particular time in his career, had beaten almost every top-tier quarterback. And he's this past year, they beat Kansas City and Seattle and he was going battle battle with Patrick Mahomes. He just doesn't have the overall help and depth. They were within a couple of plays of beating the Rams this past year, both games. So Russell throws high touchdown passes. They just don't give him a lot to utilize as far as the receivers go. And that's where, that's one of the things that lie in the problem. But he is a top-tier quarterback, and he definitely deserves to get paid, and he should get paid. He's got a ring. He's been to two Super Bowls. He's a uh, been a dominant player, and he definitely changed the skill set. He's one of those quarterbacks because of his size, people were reluctant. But now you're going to see Kyler Murray owes a nod of the cap to Russell Wilson. You look at some of the Heisman Trophy winners, just one Heisman Trophy, you know, um, Baker Mayfield. Some of the type of quarterbacks that are being drafted, that's the Russell Wilson effect, which may not have gone into effect prior, but his dominance, and let's be realistic, He's hitting shoulders in his class that he came out of with Andrew Luck and RG3. Remember, RG3 was the big deal the first year and kind of faded at all. Andrew Luck has had success, but he hasn't lived up to the hype. But Russell Wilson surpassed all that. So, you know, in, you know now whether he gets another chip again, I can't say because the NFC is a little more stacked. But I will say this. He definitely deserves. He's won. He's come up big in the postseason. He just hasn't always had, like I said, a top tier wide receiver to compliment him. And they don't really, Pete Carroll doesn't really let him showcase all of it because Russell, Russell can play. He he was a prototype for a lot of what you see. So anyway, he's now the highest paid quarterback and player in the league. And I, he, he deserves it because it's long overdue, especially when they get some of these jive turkeys, big contracts. He proved his stock and worth many moons ago. All right, that's my take about Russell Wilson now being the highest paid and if a player at quarterback for the CLC Hawks in the league, feel free to leave comments. Feel free to subscribe. And when the bell rings, that's my new video. And I'm out. Have a good day. Peace.